Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we are back with another product review, and that is with the Ultra Studio Mini Monitor 3G. Now, this is an older product, but um, we're using this at the River Church tomorrow because, and I actually tried to use this at TCF a couple of times, but it wasn't working because of the drivers. So this is just like the Decklink Mini Monitor, which I thought I had beside me. So it's like an external uh, Thunderbolt version of this, where you can add this and it will give you a SDI out or an HDMI out for programs that support it like OBS, Pro Presenter and things like this. This will allow you to have another output. Now, why are we using this? Because just like my Mac Mini M1, um, it's limited on how many outputs it supports. So after two, you're kind of stuck. This will allow you to give multiple outputs if you're going into a streaming system. So uh, like Pro Presenter, you can have this set up to where now Pro Presenter will output over this card. You can have one screen, say, for your confidence monitor, lower thirds or something like that. Then you have uh, your other output that you can connect and do your audience output, whatever. So this is the solution that I recommended to the River Church that we're going to be doing tomorrow to enhance what they're doing, because right now their Pro Presenter only outputs one thing. And this is going to allow them to actually output lower thirds to their stream so that everybody can still see the cameras, they can see the scripture, the lyrics, whatever, but still see people at the same time. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside. Really, really simple. And again, I used this before, but the drivers with the Apple silicone, the Apple CPU, it didn't work. So they finally fixed that, so yay, that's good. Now, this does not come with a cable. This is actually the leftover Thunderbolt cable that I had when I tried to do this before and it did not work. So I'm just giving it to them. But just be mindful that you will need to have a card, um, a cable for this to work. So inside of here is very, very straightforward. You got your stickers and stuff that I've already added to my collection. I haven't collected that many stickers this year. Um, but this is it. Now, again, we have the monitor. They do have a, a recorder version that will allow you to be bring video in to whatever application. But this is pushing out the monitor. So be mindful of that. So we have our SDI so we can output on SDI or HDMI. And it depends on the software. I know OBS can output both of these at the same time. I don't know if ProPresenter does that. Then we have our Thunderbolt in. And that's pretty much it. That's all that comes in this thing. So let's go ahead and take you over to my Mac that hasn't had that much use. And let's go through configuring and setting all this stuff up. All right, folks. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to make sure that we download the Blackmagic desktop video setup software. Now, the latest version, actually, I've already downloaded here. And they actually have made some adjustments so that it actually works. Because originally, this did not work because of how Intel and the Apple silicone talk to each other. But thankfully, that has been fixed. So we would come in here. And let's go ahead and connect it. All we're going to do is connect this to our available Thunderbolt port. It will power up. And boom, there we go. So now it's showing up here. Um, depending on when you got it, mine had to do a firmware update. So that's it. So our video output, um, what's the default video standard that it's outputting to? Most of the time you don't have to change this, but I am outputting at 1080p 60 because that's the ATEM that we're going to have set up. You can have other settings, display full frame video, display black output when not playing anything. I do that so it doesn't have an image just left over for no reason. You can change the video output or if you want to do um, YC and cyan or if you want to do uh, red, green, and blue. Um, it all depends on what type of connections that you're doing. I think the a HDMI input number one, if you're using an A10 Mini, it is actually looking for um, YCB and CR for its color science. So be mindful of that. That's what I actually I'm going to use for right now. But for the most part, none of the settings really need to be done. And they actually have some configurations for Final Cut. So anyway, we got that there. So the software is there. It's detecting it. 
all that other good stuff. So now we need to use software that will actually support this. Now, one other thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead. I'm gonna connect this over HDMI to my ATEM here, which is gonna be the same way that we're gonna do it there at the River Church. I am going to connect the HDMI number one. And then we're gonna connect this from my output there. So thankfully this is temporary, so y'all don't mess with me because of my um, wiring. All right, so now let's go into ProPresenter. And again, this, this will not give you like another monitor. It only works with software that can talk to the API, the programming software of the Blackmagic Decklink card. So ProPresenter, um, some other presentation software does it. Um, Worship Tools Presenter does not talk to it. OBS does talk to it. So those can be some options. Let's go ahead and start off with OBS. Let's start with something simple. And as long as the software is installed properly, you'll come up here to tools and you'll now see a deck link output. So I just have my, from our OBS bundle that is still available on aj ceocom You can go here and we have the be right back. So it's just some motion going on, or we can go to the pre-service here and play some other stuff here. And I think, what bundle is that? That's version two. I don't even have three on here. Um, but anyway, let's go back to here. And if we go to tools and we do output, and there's our monitor, um, the card. So we can start an output there. And now if I switch over for y'all to see, let's cut over to input number seven. And now that is the output that is coming from um, OBS. So for example, let's switch over to this camera. All right, so if we pan over here, you can see right over my shoulder here, that that is what is being outputted. That is coming from our OBS. So that is the output that is coming from the uh, Ultra Studio Monitor that's coming from my Mac. All right, so let's cut back over here. All right, so we got here. So let's go ahead and switch back. Now, just like with anything else, you gotta make sure that whatever app you're using, only one is used at a time that is talking to the software. So you can't have two programs that are making calls to the deck link. I mean, only one can use it at a time. So let's go ahead and go into ProPresenter. And that's kind of like the same setup that we're gonna be doing. All right, so the same way here in ProPresenter, we're gonna go up here to settings, go to screens. We're gonna go to screen, conf um, configure screens. And we need to make a, a new screen for this, or we can come in here and change this. So I was using NDI. We come in here and there's our studio monitor. Let's pick our resolution that we're gonna output on. And yes, I want to reassign that. So now our regular monitor will come out here and we, I will tag the other video where it talks about how to set up different outputs. And let's see, can we find something that we can use that has some motion in it? Oh, it needs an update. All right, folks, this is Future AJ. We're adding a little bit in here, and it looks like it was the software version that I had on ProPresenter that was causing the issue. So we got the latest version installed on here. You can see our animated stuff. Let's actually go to a different animated one just so we can see that everything is working. Let's go ahead and pick this one. As you can see, we got some little particles and stuff. If we come over here, there's our animated particles moving and all this other fun stuff. Let's go ahead and switch back again. So it looks like I need to make sure I have the latest version of software first. So we got that there and there we go. So there we go. So really cool that we got our ultra studio monitor here that will allow you to connect and have another output for supporting software like ProPresenter, OBS and things like that. So if you needed to have a, a secondary output for your presentation software that you can configure to be a any display that you want, whether it's a confidence monitor, a configuration for whatever that's going to be full screen or in the sanctuary and maybe have it modified to where this is always doing a lower third configuration, that is an option for you. Um, this is actually used to go for $129, but 
the price has gone up. I mean, Black Magic said it was because of the tariffs. So this is now going for around like 150. You may get it for a little bit lower than that. But again, it's right in line with the same price as if you had an internal card. Personally, I go with the internal card, but with the new Mac minis, this is not really an option, but this would work well. And then you can pair as many of these as you want, as long as your computer has the amount of jacks that actually support connecting to it. So link is down below if you're interested in getting one. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, I may be tempted in getting one that stays here permanently in my setup um, for my ProPresenter after I get it updated so that I don't have issues with it. Um, I have ProPresenter on this system. I license with this, not on that one. So we may see um, go through that. But let me know if you have any other questions. We will be installing this tomorrow and doing some configuration. Let me know if you want me to do a deeper dive in that. And again, if y'all want me to do even more with this, I might just buy another one that I have here and I'll always have here to test out some other stuff that you would like me to test out in whatever software. But anyway, um, I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate the like, consider subscribing, hit that bell, that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks, this is AJ. Catch you on the next video, later.